Ian Dee here. Today I'm going to tell you a story of what happened to me recently regarding a purchase on eBay of a collectible anime figure. You know by now that apart Magic the Gathering I like to collect certain figures from Japan. I'm a proud owner of a particular collection of Kaiodo figures of Hokuto no Ken, or better known in the West as Fist of the North Star. I used to watch this anime on Italian television back in the late 80s and early 90s. Yes, it has a certain degree of violence, but during that time parent control and censorship weren't that tight as much as today, and still we grew up in a good matter. From my collection I have very few figures missing, one of them is this. This is Ken Kenshiro, the calendar version, and it's quite rare. On eBay, you can find these at $200, $250, they are quite, quite expensive. I told you I bought this from eBay at around $160, and whenever you buy something to add to your collection, you can't wait to receive it. Unfortunately, it took around 3 months to arrive, but considering the current situation of COVID, I was okay with it. To my surprise, when this arrived and saw it that it was shipped, in a bubble envelope, my heart did a tick. Yes, this was shipped in a bubble envelope. See the envelope here? This is the original envelope. I cut this from here. This figure was shipped in this envelope, a bubble envelope. These figures are old and the bubble is fragile. So when I opened the envelope, I wasn't surprised to find out that the figure was severely damaged and opened on three sides. As you can see, the bubble is fractured. Let me show you the fracture. Here is the fracture. You can see it's fractured. And there's another fracture, very serious fracture here. You can see here, the bubble is fractured. Here, it's fractured. Here, another fracture. It's an unfortunate, very unfortunate, and open on three sides. Let me show you, open on three sides. You can see here, it's open from three sides. Bottom, left, and top. Only the side wasn't open. In the collectible world, these figures hold value only, only as much as they are not damaged and especially opened. Unfortunately, this figure hold no value to me. And even if I try to resell it, no collector would be ready to spend $100, $150 for it. Personally, a figure in this condition is to be considered only as a toy to play with and not collectible. So I messaged the seller and told him the full story. They offered me a partial refund of $45. I gently declined and replied that the condition of the figure is not collectible and surely not valued $100 plus. To cut the story short, I opened a request for return and got the refund. The moral of the story is that whenever you ship items like this that are expensive, always ship them in a safe way. A bubble envelope it's not a safe way and you end up forking out more money than you have gained. This item should have been shipped in a box which offers more and more safety. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about this type of shipment? Was a correct one, wasn't a correct one? And here, the subscription button, subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.